Well, once you get everything going in AdWords, how do you deal with all the data? How do you manage it? You know, how do you make decisions? Well, one of the most powerful things about Google AdWords, and it really is an awesome system, is it's reporting. So up at the top menu, you'll see campaigns, opportunities, reports, tools. If you click reports, it brings you to a section where you can set up reports. Now you can create all kinds of neat custom reports. You can have them emailed to you on different you know, frequencies, daily, weekly, monthly. You can have it sent to you and to someone else that's managing things. It's very, very powerful what they've created with this reporting editor. So you basically start by clicking plus report and then it says what kind of report. Do you want a table, line chart, bar chart, part, pie chart? You can create all these cool visual charts and save them as PDFs or have them email to you automatically as PDFs. Uh, but the table view is typically what most people use for reporting because you can get the most data in it. And then you typically download it in like a CSV file where you can put it into like an Excel spreadsheet to be able to look at a lot of data at a glance. And this is where the naming conventions are going to come in and be very important for you to be able to manage your data and manage your AdWords at large once you get hundreds, if not thousands of keywords and campaigns running uh, in order to be able to make those proper decisions. So you basically build the report that you want. You can have it show anything that you want. So in the table view here is this example, you just drag and drop the pieces of data that you want to be shown in your report. So we'd want the campaign names, we'd want the ad group names. So here we're seeing now these, of course, again, these are terrible campaign names. I told you you'd want to use actual campaign names that make sense and actual ad groups that make sense. This was just for my quickie example. But so we have two columns here, the campaign, and then we have ad group by campaign. Then of course we would want like the search keyword. So now it's adding the keyword phrase and it shows if it's the broad match modifier or it would show the brackets or quotes for however you know style that we're using it and matching it. Uh, we could have it show the ad. So it's actually showing us the ad uh, in our reporting. Uh, if we want to see our clicks, our impressions, our costs, our click-through rates, average click, we can add all that data and you're just building this report however you want it. And then we can do, you know, we want to know the total number of conversions for each one. Now we have a conversions column. We want to know, you know, what the average cost is uh, per conversion. So now we add that column. And we can just add all the stuff. You can do by time periods. You can do... Uh, based on bounce rates, uh, pages per session for all, all these different campaigns, if, we, if they have that data for you. Um, you could just do all kinds of super powerful reporting. And it's however you feel comfortable in wanting to manage you know, your, your campaigns. Uh, typically, you know, you, obviously you want to be able to look at the keyword, the ad that you used, how many impressions it gets and clicks, what it costs you how the conversions are working out, of course. And, you know, you can actually, you know, do your own math to figure out if it's profitable or not. And you can also sort by the activity and the conversions and all that to assign priority to figure out, you know, what what's kind of what you should be focused on or whatnot. And in the next lesson, I'm going to talk to you in a presentation about how you can prioritize, optimize, and even expand your efforts with AdWords and how you should be managing all of this. Uh, but it starts with reporting in order to be able to make the decisions on how to manage it, whether you're going to manage it or you're going to have someone else in your business manage it. They need to be able to look at this reporting and then go from there with those decisions um, based on what they see in the data to how they'll move forward to make changes in the AdWords account. But after you create all that and you can set you know, what format you want it in, if you want to email to somebody and how often you want it emailed, you know, first of the week, you know, every day, every month, whatever. It's super powerful what you can do with these reports. But you can create your own custom reports, have them sent to you or come in here and download them. And then uh, you can analyze that data. And by the way, when you do the dimension stuff that I showed you too, there's a down arrow next to every type of, when you're looking at data and viewing data at any point, you can hit that down arrow and download that data to be able to look at it offline and sort it in Excel or some other program as well. But after you're done with this, you just click Save As here in the upper right hand corner, and then you name the report, and then you have that report saved. So you can create a bunch of different report entries in your account that will trigger, trigger emails to be sent and pie charts to be created and all kinds of stuff. It's super cool. Uh, but this is where you do it. Very top of the menu, you click Reports, 
And this is how you control the custom reporting that AdWords allows you to do.